welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. So we're going to measure a piece of uh, Ethernet cable, and that's going to connect to our wire Y stepper motor, which moves the bed. And we're going to just measure a length to go from the motor back to the ramps and give it a little bit of extra length to uh, for our cable management. So what we're going to do is we're going to come the wire is going to come towards the back of the motor, so we're going to leave a bit of extra length loop around the back. So it's going to be around about that long. Don't have to be too accurate, and it's always better to have a little bit longer than too short. So then we're going to come along along the back of the printer, come around, come up over. I'm going to come behind the ramps, but I'm not going to try and plug it in behind the ramps. And then come out the front and then plug into here, into this connector. So I'm going to make make it about that long. So just where my thumb is, that's going to be the length of the wire. Let's cut that to length. And next we're going to strip that and solder the connectors together. So we've grabbed our Ethernet cable, probably about 800 that we just measured before on the printer. 800 millimeters long and we're going to strip the sheath off. I'm just going to start at one end and just uh, cut the sheath not too deep. You don't want to damage the conductors underneath and just slice along. And you should be able to strip it back. Just yank it out. And before I go any further, I'm just going to check the, that the cable is actually multi-strand. Sometimes it looks like multi-strand, but it's actually single core. So we can see there's lots of strands in there. Uh, so we know it's a multi-strand, safe to use. I'm just going to grab two of these wires, whatever colors you prefer. I'll grab um, green and blue, and we're just going to twist them together. Just even up the ends. Let's make sure everything's the same length. And then we're ready to start soldering that up. Okay, so now we're going to check the wiring on the um, Y motor. So we're going to actually just measure the pins with a multimeter. So I've grabbed a multimeter. I'll switch it to the ohms. So we're going to measure resistance. And we're going to just check the pins on the motor. So I'm just going to, uh, I sort of know where they are, but um, what you're looking for is a couple of um, a couple of coils, and you'll probably look for around, it's usually in the range of sort of 2 to, to 10 ohms or 2 to 12 ohms. So here's one of the windings. So we've got 4.2 ohms there, and there's usually a center tap, so the pin between it's usually a center tap, and it should be half the resistance. So there we go, 2.1 ohms, and it should be symmetrical they're usually symmetrical as well, so if I flip it across to the other side, so the three pins are on the other side, the out, outside two is one, the other winding, and then again the center tap there. So, and we're not using the center tap, so you can un, un, ignore the center pin, so we're just using the outside pin. So, the two outside pins in the first set of three, and the two outside pins in the second set of three. So those are the four wires we're going to be using. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.